guys a little bit of a different introduction today. I am getting ready to head out the door. I actually have to go and see a home quickly. Yes, I am house hunting, but after that, we are gonna go thrifting, hopefully for Christmas. I'm gonna go to two different places, I think. That's what's on my plan. Busy, busy day, so no more intro needed. Let's just get this day going because I have a lot to do. So the next time I see you, we'll probably be on the way to the thrift store. All right, you guys, we are ready to get into this haul. It is not the same day. I went to two other thrift stores after the footage that you're going to see, and there was just like no Christmas decor in them, so that didn't work out. So I ended up on another day going to the antique store, and I got a couple things there. So this is not the same day, like I said. I did really make an effort to show more prices in my last thrifting video. Some of you asked if you could see more prices from things in the store, so I really tried to make sure I showed more price tags of the items that I was looking at or were on the shelf. So some of this stuff is not blatant Christmas decor. I talked in my last video about 
not needing decor to be super obvious but focusing on the feelings that they invoke. So the items that I got are ones that I can see myself using in the holiday season. Some of it is a little more Christmassy, some of it's a little more general, but let's get into the haul. Alright, so the first item is this wreath and it's a little bit smushed because it was in a bin, but that's okay. I can kind of fluff her up and bring her back to life. She is a little bit plain. I'm not sure if I'm going to just style her as is or if I'm going to do a DIY project with this. I'm okay with it being plain. It's Christmas time. Everyone needs just a good green wreath. So this was only $2.99, so that was a good price to me. I think I may only have one other wreath, but like I said, I'm not sure if I'm just going to style this as is or if I will make a DIY project out of it. Alright, next up is this rolling pin, and I've been looking for a rolling pin for a long time. I refuse, refuse to purchase a new one. These show up really often in thrift stores or antique stores. I was looking for one that was a good price. I didn't want to spend a fortune because you do see them a lot. This one was $8. I'm okay with that. I really, really wanted one. I am really excited to bake this holiday season. I've wanted to start baking a bit more and I think I'm going to try my hand at some frosted cookies, maybe with some royal icing. I know that's really simple. I've just never done it before, so I'm looking forward to maybe making some really cute custom cookies. So obviously if I'm going to make cookies from scratch, I need a rolling pin to roll out some dough. So this is one of those great decor items that are not just decor, but also practical use. All right, next is an item that I have actually been on the hunt for for quite some time. I always look for them on Facebook Marketplace because they have them frequently, but usually they're like 15-ish dollars and then an extra nine for shipping if it's not local. But I finally found a candle snuffer. Let me see if we can see that. This one is obviously brass. This was, I believe, $8 as well because I think it was originally $10, but it was on sale. This did come from the antique market. It's in really good condition. It's quite heavy, but I think these are such a beautiful piece of decor, but also these make me feel festive. I love candles all year round. That's a fact, but Christmas time and the holidays, I am burning candles like crazy. Like crazy. And I really hate blowing them out just because I'm always afraid a little piece is going to come off or, you know, it's going to come out of the jar and I'm just, I hate it. So I've been looking for one of these so I can just put my candle out not have to blow on it and get it all over the place. So this was a really exciting find for me. All right, next up is this wire basket. And I'm trying to see how this is coming up on film. I hope you can see this well. It has these, I think they called them sew handles or sewn handles. I'm not sure why they look like this. Let's see. Can that focus? Hopefully that focused a little bit better. This was there at the antique market the last time I was there, but I talked myself out of it because at the time I think it was priced at $40 and even though I love it, I really just didn't want to spend $40 on it. This time when I was there, it was the booth was on sale. This is actually the same booth where I got the rolling pin. So I only ended up spending $30 on this, which it's still a little bit pricey, but it's something that I really wanted. And I love that it's wire with these handles and it's something I can just see in my home for years to come. I think for the Christmas season, I will probably get logs and place them inside. 
I don't have a fireplace. I wish I had a fireplace, hopefully one day. But this also could hold blankets or maybe even like my scarves or mittens or something. But for this Christmas season, I definitely think I'll probably put some logs in this and kind of put them by my TV stand. Or I got this set of brass candle holders. I know that there's footage of these. I was really excited when I found them and that there was a set of them. This littler one was $3.99 and the bigger one was $4.99. So altogether about $9. I'm okay with that. These are actually quite heavy and I love when they're like that because it just makes me feel like they're better quality when they're more a substantial weight. I have been collecting brass candle holders like a crazy woman. You know that if you've seen my other thrifting videos and the Christmas season just feels like the perfect time to get them all out and decorate with them. So I am so excited to get these up. I think they're going to go up there on the shelf above my couch. I'm going to decorate the shelf above my couch almost like someone I'm sorry there's a motorcycle <laughs> almost like someone would a mantle like I said I don't have a fireplace but I think I'm gonna do the shelf above my couch almost as if it was a fireplace with a mantle that might not sound very clear to you the way I'm describing it but if you watch my decorating for Christmas video when that comes out which will probably be in a week or two, you'll see what I mean, okay? I don't even wanna tell you what this next item costs because I feel like there's gonna be people that are like, but it is this wooden piece. And it was labeled as a butter spoon. I am probably going to use it on my stove for a place to put my utensils when I'm cooking. This was actually in a bin on the bottom shelf near the floor. I just happened to glance down on my way out and saw the wood sticking out and I was like, what is that? So naturally I bent down and this definitely seems like it was hand carved. I love that. It's solid wood. This was $20. And I really feel like some of you are going to be disappointed in me, but I just love it. And I've said this before. I purchase items based on what they are worth to me. If this was priced $20, but to me it was only worth like four bucks, I wouldn't have bought it but I really, really love this piece. It's special to me for some reason, and if I see something that I feel like I have to have and I'm willing to spend the 20 bucks on it, I'm gonna spend the $20 on it. So this was $20. I know, like I said, some of you are gonna be like, that's too much, but I really love this and I can't wait to put this on my stove and really use this. Right, you definitely saw this in the thrift store as well. This picks up very silvery on camera, but the good thing about this is because it's sort of mirrored, it really picks up the colors that are around it. I'm going to be surely decorating with a lot of brass and warm hues in my home so this definitely picks that up. I'm sure I will probably put a candle in it which is going to pull warmer tones. This will take on somewhat of a warm bronzy hue which you know I am all about. This is so pretty. I have a piece that is it's not similar but it's a similar style with the reflectiveness and the speckles. Let me see if you can see that a little bit better. And the other piece actually has a C on it for my name. 
um, and that glows really beautifully when there's a candle in it. So I will definitely use this the same way. And if I didn't say this already, these pieces will be in my Decorate for Christmas with me video when that comes out. So you can see these pieces in action then. Oh, this was $1.99. And my last piece is one that I was extra excited about because it was marked as new. So sometimes at the thrift store, even though it's very typically secondhand or used items, sometimes a brand new piece will end up there. And it's kind of cool because even though you're not reusing and you're getting something new, you're typically getting it still at a secondhand price. So it's this little house. I think it is so cute. There's no information on it, like there's nothing on the bottom or back, so I'm not sure where it's from. I don't know what it originally cost. I actually had to look at my receipt to tell me how much it was because I can't find the sticker from the thrift store either. Actually, side note about that. Did you know that there are thrift stores that if there's not a price on something when you take it up to the counter, they won't even sell it to you? I actually had another brass candlestick holder. It was super tiny. It was like this big, but there was no sticker on it, so they wouldn't sell it to me. This had a sticker. I think it just came off in the bag because I can see the bottom of it here. Um, I'll try to find it, but I want to say this was only... $1.99 as well, which I think is a steal. I think it is so cute with the little windows. And there's actually a little window on the side as well. I am considering spray painting this a matte black. I don't know. I may leave it white. I will probably do some decorating, figure out where this is going to go, and then depending, you know, either leave it or do it black. All right, you guys, that is it for this Christmas thrift with me. I really appreciate you watching as always. If you liked this video or like thrifting or like Christmas, give it a thumbs up. If you like Christmas content or thrifting content, you can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Take care.